Hi, I'm Morgan, and I'll be doing an assessment of the musculoskeletal and neurological system. So I'm going to start with inspection. I'm going to look for a, for alignment, symmetry, and contour of the bones and muscles of the arms, the wrists, the hands, the fingers, the shoulders, elbows, the hips, the knees, the ankles, the feet, and the toes. The skin appears to be tan. It is equal and symmetric. It is consistent. The extremities appear to be in alignment. The joints appear to be um, symmetric and in alignment as well. There are no masses or nodules noted um, bilaterally. Now I'm going to palpate. I'm assessing for any masses, nodules, um, any areas of warmth, any tenderness. Is there any tenderness upon palpation? No. Okay. And um, the joints are firm, they are non-tender. Um, and they are in good alignment. So now I'm going to start with the range of motion of the cervical neck. So um, I'm going to be doing some motions and you're kind of just going to follow what I do. So first we're going to do um, some, some extension, flexion, and hyperextension. So we're going to do some lift your head forward and backwards. Good. Now we're going to do lateral rotation, ear to shoulder, another side. Now we're going to do rotation, turn your head left and right. Good. Now I'm going to assess the strength. So move your head towards my hand and back. Good. Now we're going to assess the strength of the sternocleidomastoid muscle. Turn your head against my hand. Another way. Good. Now I'm going to assess the range of motion of the shoulder. So we're going to do some flexion and hyperextension. Good. Now adduction and abduction. Abduction away, abduction back. And now we're going to do internal and external rotation, hands behind your head, and hands behind your back. Good. Now we're going to do the strength. So I'm going to do this against my, you're going to do it against my resistance. So hands forward, your arms forward, and bring your arms back. Bring your arms out and back in. Good. Now I'm going to assess the range of motion of your elbow. So you're going to flex your arms up and back down and against my resistance. Good. Now we're going to do supination and pronation. Bring your arms back up and turn your hands over. Back. Perfect. Okay. Um, with your arms like this, um, I'm going to I'm going to have you move your hands. So now we're going to do range of motion of the hands. We're going to do uh, flexion and extension. Hands down and back up. Good. Now against my resistance, down and up. Now we'll do radial and ulnar deviation. Turn your hands in. Keep your elbows straight and hands out. Good. Okay. Now with your fingers, take keep your hands straight and bend your fingers down and back up. Good. So um, do it against my resistance. Down and up. Good. Now abduction and abduction of the fingers. You're going to spread your fingers apart and back close together. Make a fist. Now we're going to do opposition. Take your thumb and touch your fingertips. Move your base towards your pinky. Or your thumb towards the base of your pinky. Perfect. Okay. Now I want you to, um, I'm going to assess your grip. So grip my two fingers. Good. And then take your hands. Take your hands and three fingers out. Try to spread your fingers apart. Okay. Now spread them apart. Try to close. Good. Okay. Um, now I'm going to assess the thoracic spine and thoracic and the spine movement. So we're going to do lateral bending, turn left and right. Okay, and rotation. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to do flexion, bend down, touch your toes. I'm assessing for scoliosis and bend back up. Good, and the spine is bend line. And then hyperextension, bend back. Good. Okay. Um, if you want to turn around, I'm going to assess hyperextension of your hip. So just move your legs in a straight line backwards, and that is normal. Okay, you can have a seat on the couch. I'm going to move on to the hips, and I'm going to scan the room. Just starting right here. Okay, and I'm just going to bring this over here. Okay. So I'm going to start with extension and flexion of 
the hip. So if you want to raise your leg up for me and back down. And against my resistance, assessing the strength, back down. Perfect. Now if you want to bend your knee to your chest and back out. Good. And take your leg out. This is abduction. And back in is abduction. And cross your other leg. Good. And now do the same thing against my resistance. Out. Back in. Good. And that assesses for um, the strength. Now we're going to do internal and external rotation of the knee. So I want you to take your ankle and kind of press it against this knee, to, like you're almost crossing your legs. And now the opposite, your knee to that knee. Good. Okay. Now we're going to assess the knee. So if you want to take your knee and bend it so your foot is now on the couch. Okay. And extend it straight. Okay. Now lower it against my resistance and extend it. Good. So that assess the strength. Now we're going to move on to the feet. So if you want to, we're going to do dorsiflexion and plantar flexion. So bend your feet down towards, like you're pressing on the gas pedal, and bring your toes up. Good. Now against my resistance, back up. Now assess the strength. Now we're going to do inversion and eversion. So turn your soles of your feet inward and then outward. Kind of down and out a little bit. Okay. And now just relax your foot, and we're going to assess your um, ankle rotation. So just rotate your ankle. Good. Okay, so you want to sit on the edge of the couch. I want you to cross your legs like a lady. This is assessing the, on both sides. This is assessing the strength of the hamstrings, the gluteal abductor and adductor muscles. Okay, you can come stand up over here. you turn around and take a few steps towards the window. I'm assessing his normal gait. Okay, and turn around, and I'm going to have you walk heel to toe. So press your heel directly in front of your toe with each step. And that's great. You can stop right there. Okay, with your feet slightly apart, um, you can just close your eyes, and I'm assessing for, his, um, for any swing, and there is none. So I'm going to do the Romberg's test looking for a Romsberg sign, and it is negative. So now we're going to do rapid alternating movement. So I want you to take your hands, and you're going to turn them back and forth over on your thighs like this. Okay? Good. And now we're going to do the lower extremities. So I'm going to have you move your your knee or your, your heel against your knee to shin up and down. Good, and we would do that bilaterally. Now we're going to do a finger to nose test. So you're going to take one finger and touch your nose. And now on the other side. And now do the same thing with your eyes closed. Finger touch your nose. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to um, test for stereognosis. I'm going to place an object into your palm. Close your eyes, and I want you to identify what the object is. Koi. Good. And I would do that test bilaterally. I would use a different object in the other hand. So now I'm going to test for graphesthesia. With your eyes closed, I'm going to draw a number in your hand and identify what the number is. Eight. Perfect. And I would do the same thing on the other hand. Now I'm going to assess um, for light pain touch, so I'm going to um, place this on different parts of your body. This would be light, and that would be sharp. Okay, close your eyes. Tell me um, what you feel and where you feel it. Light on my arm, sharp on my hand. Okay, I'm just adjusting the camera. Sharp on my knee, light on my shin. Perfect. Now I'm going to assess for vibration sense. So I'm going to strike this and put it on one of your joints and you're going to feel vibrations. So tell me when you feel it and when it stops. Feel it. Stops. Feel it. Stops. Good. And I would do that bilaterally on different joints. Now I'm going to assess um, the position sense. So, um, let me see your hand. So this would be up, 
This would be neutral, and that would be down. Okay, close your eyes. Up. Neutral. Okay, have a seat for me. Do your lower extremities. Down. Up. Perfect. Okay, you can stay sitting, and I'm going to assess your reflexes. So I'm going to do the tricep reflex. So just relax your arm for me and take a look out that window over there. Good. Now I'm going to do the bicep reflex. Just relaxing your arm and mine. One, two. Good. All right. Now I'm going to do the brachial radialis reflex. I'm going to have a seat over here, and I'm going to assess the patella reflex. Okay, I want you to look over your shoulder over there and take your arms like this and stretch them apart. Pull, pull, pull. Oh, oh there goes our camera. Come back. All right. Pull, pull, pull. Sorry, I just need to adjust the camera. Okay, pull, 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 pull. Oh my goodness, camera <laughs> keeps moving. All right, sorry, I gotta do it one more time. Okay, now I want you to kneel on the couch with your feet hanging off the edge. Okay, and I'm assessing the ankle jerk. Perfect, okay, you can have a seat. So for both of these assessments, I would be doing these tests bilaterally. Um, I would be assessing for any limitation of movement, and there was none. Um, movements were symmetric. They were equal bilaterally, and there were no abnormalities noted. There was no pain or limitation in movements, no pain in the joints. Thank you.